This is our first time to the Mauti. See the horse is struggling. <laughs> Look lamp you guys say. She went to go to the promised land. <laughs> I've been feeling like no one cares about me. Why I know that I have a God that I'm serving that loves me so much. So I decided to fast for 14 days and today is the last day of fasting. So I decided to come to the mountain to come and just spend two hours with but that's all about what I'm here to do. Not yet. I give praise your name. Baby, you're dying. Baby, you're so far away. You're terrible, baby. I give praise your name. Who should have come to my life is that I should never compare myself to those that I think things are working well today. What got me sad was that my class, I mean, not in school, so we have to stay in 1,000 Naira for course registration form, of which is going to end on a particular day. And I've been looking for 1,000 Naira to go and pay and register my course form. And I've been asking all my friends when I ask them to tell me they don't have, I will ask them to say they don't have, but I see them doing something. So I think. They have, but they don't want to give me. I feel like some things are. I feel like things are working out for them, but it's not working out for me. So I know that I have someone who listens to me, who always answer me when I call on him. I'm here praying, and the Lord says to me, "I don't know whether he will be to read this time." I've never read it before. I don't think I read it before Psalm 37. A lot of time is telling me that I should not compare. It's kind of I should not compare myself because they have multiple boyfriends and those boyfriends are giving them money and me, I don't have multiple boyfriends. So I think maybe me too, I should not uh, look for people that will be giving me money or let me be doing the things that I'm doing. And things are working well today, but Psalm 37 is telling me this moment that I should not comp compare myself with evil doers because things are doing well for them doesn't mean that it will last. I don't know the things that God is working behind the scenes that I cannot see, so I should not compare myself. I think someone else, I think someone also is going through the same thing with me. Just 1,000. I could not find for my friend and so I'm making this video it's not for anything but always keep your head straight on God. Your happiness comes from him. And whatever you seek, you seek you should seek on him, not for any other person because they will fail you. That's it that it, the thing has already closed anyway. I've not reached the register, but I don't know what the Lord is doing, sir. Huh? I have not registered. I think I'm the only person in my class that I've not registered for my course for. So I'm more than when I go to school, I will take it to the head show there and hear what she will say. This woman is very insulting and I don't know what is going to happen. But right now I've got you the body. Just stick in the Lord. Everything will work together for you. That day I just asked, I chat a friend on WhatsApp. I asked him that please let him send me 1,000 guys. Let me do something. And the friend sent me 2,000 guys. I only asked for 1,000. But he said 2,000 guys, which is enough for me to do whatever I want to do. And also buy good food for it. So just stick in the Lord. Don't feel sad. He died for you. What gave me peace is that this man, Jesus, turned water into wine. He raised the dead. He brought them back alive. He died and he rose again. 
that means she, have, she has no stop doing it. She can't do it again. So therefore, they, so therefore, don't feel down to go to him when you feel like no one cares about you. When you feel like things are not working out the way you think they should, there's a reason. Maybe God wants to bring you closer to him to show you or tell you something of which I fasted for for two weeks, for 14 days, and today is the last day. So I am the most encouraged me to just finish it up today. So today is the last day of my fasting. If you feel like no one cares, please, you have a father who cares. Go to him. He will hear you out. He will listen. Read Psalm 37. Read Psalm 35. I love Psalms and I love Proverbs. Go and read your Bible and study the Word of God. Spend time alone. I am here with nobody. I am currently on the mountains. 